What's up guys, Brian here, Pokeboy Productions. I'm about to head out to Chicago. I'm in the airport. I heard there's this really great restaurant, Michelin Star, run by a Filipino and a, and a Chinese chefs. The restaurant, which opened in 2020, is the brainchild of husband and wife team, Tim Flores and Jeannie Kwan. Its name means together in Tagalog and perfectly sums up their culinary collaboration. Jeannie oversees the bakery and Tim oversees the savory menu. And uh, they make some really fusion Filipino slash pastries and I'm gonna fly over there to try it. So if you want to know how it is and you want to uh, see like what I think of it, keep watching. Mission and Star should be good. So I'm in Kasama, one of the Michelin-starred uh, places here in Chicago. You know, not everyone gets a Michelin star. I don't think any restaurants in New Jersey has one, but here, check out that line. It's a Friday. It should, it shouldn't take too long, but usually, if you go on the weekend, it's a two-hour wait. So let's see how long this takes. Time check is 10.30. The recommended time to come here is when it opens, 9 o'clock. Being that we were lazy, you can see the outdoors is bigger, but you just have to wait to get in. We are now in the front of the line. There's also right a place. here, almost there. It took an um, hour. In this city, I mean, I for a Michelin star place, this place is getting busy. Um, it's it's Japanese though. Almost there. Finally inside, here's the pastries. Same way. Here's the kitchen. Michelin. Oat milk or regular milk? Oat. Cage. Oat milk. We ended up taking the outdoor seating because indoor is crowded. Pretty cool. Boston food. The Basque. And that's a uh, croissant or something. But this is this is their famous the Ube Basque cheesecake. But check out this Ube latte. Nice design, purple on it. This is really good. Perfect. After waiting on the line. Yeah. Yeah. Ube and coconut set. Oh yeah, you can taste the coconut. Yeah, you can taste the coconut for sure. It's good though, lot. Yeah. Chicken, chicken adobo. And this is their breakfast combo. Look at that: fried rice, garlic, fried rice, 
got your egg. Longanisa. Is that Tocino? That's Tocino. Yeah. This is their breakfast staple. Longanisa, Tocino, fried rice, and egg. And achara. Let me just take a, a slice of this longanisa. Nice and red. Mm. Mm. Now I have some egg. You wanna try their adobo? It's good. You can taste the garlic, the garlicky sweetness of the longanisa. You got the fried rice and you get some tocino. You got some leaves on it. <laughs> mm. This is the quintessential Filipino breakfast. Nice, sweet, tender. Tocino. Then you add the garlic fried rice and the longanisa. Perfect. And uh, the chicken adobo. If you know adobo, it's more, a lot more sauce to it, but this is uh, their version. Yum. Yep, I mean I'm not used to seeing this adobo like this. Well, usually it has more sauce, but it tastes just as good. And I think these are, I'm not sure what that is, but it gives it a little crisp to it. It's delicious though. Perfect breakfast. If you don't like the other one. <laughs> this is their world famous longanisa sandwich. It's making the rounds on TikTok. This is what everyone goes for. But you know, me being Filipino, I need some rice. But of course I had to order this because why not? I'm here in Kasama and we need to try it. So we're gonna open it right now and see what's inside. See how it looks like. Oh look at that. Look at that. So it already has a hash brown in it. That's extra. That's log nisa, egg, bread is nice and toasted. Let's try it. Alright, this is their longanisa slash sandwich yeah. and it has a hash brown in it this is their famous one this is what everyone lines up for here in uh, Kasama mm. it's like a breakfast sandwich garlic you can taste the garlicky longanisa sweet do a little bisaya namit kaayo this is really good no wonder people line up for it but yeah come to Kasama if you want to try all this Filipino food Michelin star you can't go wrong I recommend it so we got a bunch of pastries from the kitchen this is made from the wife. She is Chinese and she. this is her specialty. This is the one that they always recommend. So we'll do that first. This is the ube and huckleberry basque cake. I like how the Filipino sun is represented out there. Let's see, let's uh, cut. Oh, it's a little tough inside, interior. But you can see the ube in there. That. Mm. I think I'm gonna bring home a few of these. <laughs> you probably could hear the crunch. But yeah, there's the ube cream right there in the middle. Mm. Yeah, the sweet tooth is perfect. It's not too sweet. It's the right balance and i um, not sure what the price is but I'll leave it on the screen but uh, yeah everything else here this is the Boston cream brioche and the regular cheesecake 
Can't go wrong with any of these. All right, I'm back in New Jersey, waiting for my luggages. Cause back to civilization. So, uh, what did I think of the Michelin star? It was pretty good. They also offer like um, like five course or I don't know how many courses, but it's a more expensive traditional dinner. It's more of a date night type thing, and it's expensive. So I don't know if you if you really want that. I heard the reservations are tough. Like it takes out uh, months in advance. And um, yeah, and as you can see, it's always a line there, regardless what day you go. But the weekdays are the best because it's not as long, and it only takes a uh, like an hour or so, a couple of hours. Like we went today to get some leftovers for to bring home. Brought some adobo and more of that bung cake. And uh, it took us less, we ordered from online and got the food in less than 30 minutes and go before it's closing, that's the best time. As for the food, food was great. I love the, the breakfast, it's delicious. I love the, um, i trying to remember off the top of my head because it's been a few days already. And the pastries are great. Uh, and I love the adobo, it's a different style, no, unique, you know, no, no sabao, no soup. But uh, yeah, that's about it. If you guys are ever in Chicago area, make sure you check them out. Kasama. Kasama also means companionship or, you know, friends. So those of you who don't know what that means. So anyway, guys, if you, it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the bell, get notified of all future videos. Like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.